How's it going everyone and welcome to some more juicy 2.2 content. In this video, I'm going to be changing my icons, but first I'm going to go over a bunch of other stuff that people have been asking me about. Like first and foremost, how do you get diamonds? Everyone's like, I don't have enough diamonds. I don't have enough diamonds. So I'm just going to tell you everything that you can do to get diamonds right now. First off in the chests, there's always diamonds. I don't have recorded footage, but just open these once open the small one. And then once open the big one, you don't have to keep on opening the small one unless you're like super hardcore. Also, if you need diamonds, make sure you do the daily levels. The daily levels aren't super difficult and you can get some each day. Well, let's beat this one and I'll show you how many we get. So as you'll see, we're going to get some diamonds. We're going to get the ones remaining. I died like 80 something percent so i only get two diamonds but in total it was nine diamonds and then when you exit out of here you hit claim and i get four more diamonds so i got 13 diamonds for that which isn't bad usually the daily levels are pretty easy this one i, I had to practice it wasn't very sight readable at parts but like usually they're pretty easy also as you beat the daily like sometimes it's just collect five stars or more you do quests make sure you do your quests some of them are collect 500 orbs a thousand orbs some of them are get coins Sometimes, like, if you do see one of your quests is get coins, make sure to go out of your way to get some coins. Just play an easy level, like a three star or a four star, get some coins and make sure to finish those quests so it doesn't clog up your quest log. If you keep on avoiding coins, then that one quest will just stay there and it'll never complete. So you want to make sure to complete that. Also, the weekly demon is a good source. Usually they're easy demons. If you're good enough to beat them, uh, you can get quite a lot of diamonds. Let's see how many we'll get for this. We'll get 12 for beating the level and then let's see how many. Boom. All right, that's a banger level too. That's so cool like chasing the train. Anyway, so I got uh, some diamonds for doing that. I got in total uh, 12 there, but then when you back out of the weekly demon after having beaten it, you claim your prize, which is a chest. And how many do I get? Well, I get 20 diamonds and you also get shards of power. So it's worth for grinding for that too. You get 20 diamonds plus the 12 you get for beating it. So 32 diamonds, which isn't bad. And I also got some more quests, yay. Now remember, there's always the lists. And one thing that's cool is even in between the time of the last video and now, there's a bunch more lists out. Like I went to the here and I had done a bunch of nine circles levels. And so I can get 80 diamonds just from nine circles levels I've done in the past, which is great. And so like, if you guys are looking for diamonds, make sure that you're beating, especially some of the easier lists, if you're not that uh, good at the game yet to do like hard demons and stuff. But some of these lists, like, like a dream sequencer by J Ghost, like, there's a bunch of diamonds you can get this way. Honestly, still though, the best way to get diamonds is to just slowly grind the chests. It's the most consistent way and it's the most effortless way. That's how I got most of my diamonds is I just opened the big chest every day. Before we go any further, there's a secret that I forgot to include in the last video. So if you go to the shop here, and this is the normal shop. This is the one from the main menu. You click on your icon stuff and you can click on the shop here. If you keep on clicking on the shopkeeper, just keep on clicking on it. Click, click, hello. What do you want? you stop up with the poking you're getting on my nerves i'm warning you some things are better left alone oh damn that's scary dude oh no not again oh <gasps> just just stop tapping and it will be fine oh dude he's gonna unleash i'm not gonna stop tapping dude it's best if you stop doing that <laughs> Oh, he's going, he's going mad, dude. He's going mad. I feel strange. You dare touch a god, Zolgoroth? <laughs> what? You'll regret your actions here today. I have big things planned for you, EVW. Now be gone. Dude, he just booted me from the shop. What? Hey, welcome back. Sorry, I think I fell asleep earlier. Did I miss something? No. You have a god in you, dude. Oh yeah, someone left this package here for you. Who is Zolgaroth? You really need to get that thing checked. And then you get this. So you get this icon. You get like the Zolgaroth icon, which is a secret icon. That's cool. And now speaking of diamonds, for the remainder of the video, I'm going to be picking out a new icon set and I'm also going to be buying some stuff. So we're going to go shopping. But before we do that, we're going to open up as many demon chests as we can. What should I be opening up? I'm gonna open up some of the five demon chests and see what things I can get. Wow, that's lucky. Okay, that looked like a ball. That's cool. I wanna get as many of these icons as I can. I got some diamonds. That's interesting, only 10, which isn't that bad. I got a UFO. I just wanna get as many icons as possible. A bunch of orbs. I don't know if the orbs are gonna help me much. I don't think I have enough orbs to buy everything. But So the orbs will help me, especially for paths later. That's cool. So the five demon chests are pretty good, actually. Oh, nice. Dude, look at this. I got a metal recruit. I got five metal shards. 
And so I got, uh, I unlocked something. Oh, that's a lot of diamonds. 70 out of a five chest. Okay, these five demon chests are pretty good. One thing I will mention, that's a cool little icon. One thing I will mention as well is it seems like the rate of demon keys have increased the drop. I've noticed it a little bit as I've been playing levels. I've been getting them more frequently, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. I don't know if they are actually dropping more frequently, but it seems like they are. Oh, this is fun. I've been waiting to do this. I'm glad I can finally do it in a video. Oh my. Like, I don't think, I don't feel like I need any more orbs to go shopping and buy the things that I want. Yeah, just give me more icons. That's a cool one. 80 diamonds. I think I have quite enough diamonds. I don't think I need any more. Ooh, nice, nice icon. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'll, t I'll take those diamonds, dude. Like, honestly, I think it's the most economical for getting diamonds is to open up all of these five key demon chests. I seem to be getting quite a lot of diamonds. Like when I was opening up like the 10 and 25s, I was getting like a decent amount. Oh, that's a cool wave. Actually, I might use that. That's awesome. But like these five, man, I've been getting quite a lot. Oh, that's awesome. But I guess you also open up a lot of chests where you're not getting diamonds. So I don't know like, I don't know what the most economical thing is, but I, these five demon chests are pretty sweet. That's cool. That's like our little propeller head thing. I don't think I'd use that though. Oh, that's awesome. Is that a ship or a wave or a big wave? I think it's a ship. Okay, nice. I got uh, some blood shards. Blood recruit and bonus initiate. Oh, okay. I have five of each of the uh, shards now of power. Dude, you get so many diamonds in these five chests when you get diamonds. I think these five demon chests, they're the way to get diamonds, man. I'm telling you. And of course, you want to get shards of power as well to unlock stuff. So honestly, I think it's the way to go. These five demon chests are awesome. I'm, I'm going to open all of them, I think. Got an elephant icon. Frankenstein. Game Boy. Oh, that looks like uh, that looks like Bimo from Adventure Time. Nice, Bimo. That's great. Dude, so many. What's that? I think these five demon key chests are pretty sweet. That's a sweet looking wave. I don't think I'd use it. That looks confusing, gameplay wise. I like mine to be like pretty clear and tight. A hundred diamonds in a five chest. Like that's sick, dude. Light Apprentice. Oh, that's for getting like, what, 15 light shards? And this is it. We've almost opened up all of the five demon chests. Damn, dude. Congratulations us. That's a pretty sick ball. How about these one demon chests? Let's see, like, what kind of rewards are we getting? 20 diamonds? Oh my God, that was a lot for just a one chest. Okay, you get a color. Yeah, I think... Dude, let's see, like, what it's looking like. I mean, not that many orbs, but, like, 20 diamonds in one. And this is just for, like, one key. Oh, yeah, dude. I think it's the most economical, if you're looking for diamonds, is to open up the one chests. Open up the one chest. More colors. You get tons of diamonds as you go. It's just one shard, but whatever. Like, it's just, it's just one demon key for this, right? Oh, yeah. Let's see how frequently we're getting diamonds, though. Okay. It's kind of disappointing when you only get 200 orbs, but I mean, you guys might be able to use the orbs. And you do get a lot of like icons and stuff too, which is cool. So it's it's quite a lot of unlocks for unlocking these like one key demon chests. Like the higher ones, I think you should probably just save for last. And you should just be opening up like all of the lower ones and see how many you get. Soul Apprentice, this is just a uh, two shards of power, nice. Diamond is unbreakable. Okay, for getting diamonds, 20 diamonds for that? For 25,000 diamonds, nice. It's a, That's gotta be a ship? It's a banana? Honestly, it's fun just clicking on these like over and over again. Being able to spend my demon keys finally. Which I do not have enough to open every chest though, by the way. I haven't grinded that much, as much as some of the people who have grinded hard. Which is pretty nuts, because on the global leaderboards, I'm like the 3,000 something, you know? Blood Apprentice. Oh, that's cool. That's an alien robot. That's the Xenomorph. That's sick, dude. What do you guys think thematically? I make like alien icons. Metal Apprentice. I don't like the Magnet Wave. I like ones that have a bit of a point. Bonus Novice. Okay. That's for having like 15 of all the different shards, the new shards. That's an interesting cube. Just nine different balls. I have like different shades of color. 50 orbs. What a ripoff. Ooh. <laughs> That's a scared square. I mean, oh, 50 diamonds from a one key chest. I mean, I opened. Uh, th 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 that's like nuts, dude. I mean, 50 is nuts. 
Arr. Of course, our icon in the game has gone through so many deaths. Of course, they're angry, scared, shooken, shaken up a little bit, you know? Ooh, now this is an icon that's actually kind of close to mine with like the diamond shape. This is something I could see myself using. Just like a fish. <laughs> it's like a derpy looking fish. Okay. Happy. <laughs> that is the face that all icons are truly making because they die so many times in GD. That's a cool cube. X. Hey, that's a cool one. Flower. And that's the last one. Okay. An icon that's gritting its teeth. So... I went up to like 25,000, 800 diamonds around. I gained like seven to 800 diamonds just from the 200 single uh, demon key chest. So I think it's quite economical to open these ones. Like if you have the demon keys for them, you should open up all like the single ones and then the five ones. And that will probably give you the most diamonds. Because if you look at when I'm opening up these like 10 demon key chests, how many am I getting on average? 20, just for, for 10, right? But in 10 demon keys, if I were to use that on single chests, I would get probably way more diamonds. So it's definitely more economical to open up like the less amount of demon keys. And look at sometimes you don't even get diamonds out of the 10 demon key chests. Definitely open up the single demon key and the five demon key to get the most diamonds. 100%. That's like now I'm dead certain like 50 diamonds, but it's 10 demon keys. That's a cool UFO though. But 10 demon keys is a lot, you know? Five shards. Ooh, that's cool. I might make an alien theme set because I have like some I can use from like the hundred chest I opened. I had like this weird like alien set I could use. Wow. I like, I just really don't have enough. Some people opened every single chest. That's nuts, dude. All right. Look at that angry phase. Got to be on the grind for that. A spiky little ball. Earth guardian. Oh, so you need 35 to get the next tier of uh, Shards of Power. Okay. I was thinking about making a robotic set as well, um, but I'm not too sure. That is an awesome spider. Dude, look at that. I have 424 demon keys left. I think I want to open one more 100 though. So you should get like a whole set. Boom. 500 diamonds. That's a lot. Oh, dude. Look at the angel wings with the eye. Dude, I love the eyeball set. Oh man, let's try another, let's open up 150. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, we got a squid. And uh, what are they called? Blooper from Mario. We got a squid and a blooper. I don't know about these 50 chests. I'm getting a lot of weird stuff that I probably will never use. They're cool looking, but let's open up a couple more of the 25. Well, that's neat. 25 ones, okay. They only give one reward though. Like even the uh even the 10 ones were giving a reward for every single one. So I feel like I like to get the most rewards, I should open up like a 10 one again. I am gonna open up another hundred though. Hell yeah, let's do it. Whoa, you get like a whole you get like a whole set, man. I'm gonna open up one more 50, and then I'm op gonna open up a couple more tens. Let's see what I get. Boom. Oh yeah, that dude, that spider is sick, dude. It's got like ancient technology written all over it, like ancient lost technology in an RPG or something. And that ball is really cool. I'm glad we got that. I'm, I think I'm going to use that one. That's a neat ball. I like the layers of it. I might use that one actually. Let's see. Okay, and we got a spooky icon. So that's it for me. I need 1,580 more <laughs> demon keys to unlock these. That's a lot. All right, let's go to the diamond shop. I'm just going to buy everything from the diamond shop. That looks cool. That looks cool. That looks cool. I was actually considering using this one as my icon because it's very similar to the one I'm using right now, but it's like just upgraded. I might use that. So I'm buying that one. I'm buying that. Buying that. Buying that. Can I buy everything from here? I might not be able to. I I'm Maybe I should just buy the things I want first. I'm going to buy all the colors. I want, even though I'm not going to use them, I like having all the colors just as options. Is there any other special stuff you can buy? No. So everything else is just icons. Okay. So first of all, I want to buy things that I might use. I was considering this R-Wing Star Fox ship to buy. I really like this icon. I want to buy that. The ship I might buy, I might use because it has a pointy side to it, a pointy uh, end to it. Um, any ships that have points to them, I want. 
So those have like pointy ends to them. This is cool. This ball. This looks like the GD 10 year anniversary thing, like an icon from it because of the animation looks like it. I like the simplistic nature of this robot. I'm going to buy it. I think I could see myself using it. This one's just a little too thick. It's pretty nuts. It's a little over the top for me. I like this swing copter, though. That swing's pretty sweet. I like this. It also looks like an R-Wing from Star Fox. I just like this ball. I probably won't use it, but I like the way it looks. I also really like the butterfly UFO, so I'm going to buy it. Oh, yeah, I don't have enough diamonds for everything. Like, I'm not even close. <laughs> but I have everything I wanted. Ooh, I like the simplistic nature of this UFO as well. I'm going to buy it. And also this spider. All right, I'm going to buy this ball. And that's it. I need 15,600 more diamonds to buy the rest. <laughs> that's a lot. Let's go to the mechanic. What do you got? I definitely think I have enough orbs to buy everything here, though. That is for certain. But I want to save some for my paths. I do want to buy some of these ship fires because I don't have any yet. I also want to buy the death effect. I like just having all the death effects. Now, these things are interesting. These are animations. I think they're different animations. I think this is like a different running animation that you can get for the robot. And it's also a different running animation for the spider. I want to buy those. I like the swing copter. I like it how it's super robotic. I said I might make a robotic set. That's a sick wave. I might use that. I like it pointy. It's very pointy. I like it. It goes with like the R-Wing ship if I was going to make it like an R-Wing set. I like the keyboard. I'm just, I, just, I just want the keyboard. And the simplistic nature of this wave is cool too. I want some of the ship fire. I want this one that blasts out. But I also want the blue one. I think the blue one would look cool. Because I already have like a very red style. I'm going to buy this ship fire too. I like that UFO. I like it a lot. I might use that one. I like the bomb actually. The bomb is cool. And I like these robotic spiders. I'm going to buy them just in case I use them. There's also new items just in the shop. So let's, we got to make sure to check this out. Um, these ones are cheaper for sure. Buy all the colors for sure. Just buy all the colors. <laughs> the underpants UFO. I mean, I got to have it. The buster sword ship from Final Fantasy. Yeah. I like that wave. These are all cheap. I'm just going to buy them. The eyeball swing. Cool. Yeah, these are all cheaper than the mechanic store. The drill spider. That's cool. Yeah, why, why not? I'll just buy these all. The cutlass, that's pretty cool. Now, I'm also going to buy everything in this shop right here. Because there are there are some new things here. And these ones are cheap too. Grumpy icon, UFO. Colors, buy all the colors. Just get all the colors. Wacky reindeer swing copter. Wacky ball, robot, elephant spider. Simple wave, might use, you know. Colors, colors, okay. Now, I am unlocking my path of metal fairly quickly. I already have 351 in here, so I feel like I need to... I'm going to buy some of these other paths just so I don't run out of the orbs I need. Oh, yeah. Hey, Path of Blood has a lot of, like, weird alien stuff. I, I like that. Yeah, I'm going to unlock the Path of Blood for sure. Yeah, I want to get that maybe after the Path of Metal. I, I like that a lot. Okay, but make sure the Path of Metal is activated. I really like the spider in the Path of Shadow. So I'm going to buy the Path of Shadow, too. I like the spider in the path of light. I'll unlock the path of light. That's cool. That's good enough. I got four paths unlocked. The rest of them I can unlock naturally. Let's go spend the rest of these orbs. All I have left to buy in the shops are just from the mechanic. So I like the uh, the DJ set UFO. So all I need to buy everything, basically everything with orbs that I can buy in shops, I need 68,000. 68,000 orbs. And now it's the moment we've all been waiting for. It's time to switch my icons. I had this one for a while in 2.1, but I'm ready to move on. It actually is sad to see my old icons go, but I want to try new ones. I've been using these for so long, like seven years. I wish the dark part in the back, that square was color or like a dark shade of red or something, though. I also might use that one. But I wonder if I should go with the alien set, though. Like, that looks sick, dude. Oh, my. Decisions, decisions. See, if I switch the colors around, the icon pops off a whole lot more. It's such a sick ship, dude. Oh my, like I love it, but I don't know. That's, that's too wild for me, man. I don't know about that. I like this one, the simple robotic one. Okay, I'm going to do something crazy and I might not keep these icons, but I want to go for something that has an eye in each of them because I love this UFO. Oh yeah, that's rad, dude. I like this theme I got going on here. I think I just go with this robot because it looks simple and small. 
Okay, onto the spider. I was never really attached to the spider that I had before, so changing my spider is not that big of a deal. I did like this robot one. But no, no, no. I, I love this one. This is the one that goes with the theme. Oh, that's a weird looking swing copter, dude. I don't know. That's, that's too many eyes. Although, do I do the eye again? I mean, that thematically goes with it. Wish I could find a better robot, though. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with this one, actually, because I liked that one. This robot right here. I think that was really cool. I really like this set. I might switch the icon and the ship at some point. I feel like that ship would be out of control. Let's see what these look like. Okay, I dig... Dude, I dig the spider. Oh, look at this. Dude, I'm like a... Whoa, that's sick, dude. I'm like a phoenix with like fire burning out behind it. That's actually so cool. I like the saws going around the ball. Aside from this, it, that, that, it just felt off to me. I feel like this ball still looks sick. The one that I just switched it to. I feel like I might use that one. I really dig this icon set. All right, what do you guys think of my icon set? I'm going to be using this for now. Of course, it's subject to change, but I'm going to be trying this for a little while and uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, it's sad to see my old icons go, but there's some really cool new ones. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up helps a lot. We'll see you in the next one as always. Peace.